This week marks 30 years since Pope John Paul II and half a million other people celebrated World Youth Day in Denver. The five-day event was covered by thousands of journalists from all around the world. It put Denver and Colorado in the world spotlight and was arguably the largest event ever held in the state. Our good friend Gary Shapiro put together a special that's going to air this weekend, looking back at it three decades later. Good to see you, my friend. Nice to see you guys. This so is exciting. early in the morning. <laughs> this is early for him Unusual now. for you now, yeah. We asked him to come on at 4.30 this morning. He yeah. said there's no way. Not for old time's sake. <laughs> yes. yeah. Yeah. So you covered World Youth Day 30 years ago. What was that like? It was an amazing week. I mean, it was truly amazing. So Tim Ryan, our news director, called me a while back this summer and said, you know, it's been 30 years since this thing and a lot of people are new in town didn't even know what happened and he said we need somebody who remembers it to cover it to do a story on it and that's you you're the only one that old so uh anyway so we put together a half hour special we revisited the week and um it it really was a it, it put denver in the international spotlight Truly, this was such a big deal. Why was Denver chosen? Because other cities were yeah. contenders as well. You had New York, you had Buffalo, you had Minneapolis, St. Paul. Why Denver? Why did the Pope choose the city? Yeah, so Pope John Paul II started World Youth Day, and uh, he started it in the 80s. And by 1993, they had been in, oh, South America and Poland and, uh, and somewhere else I can't remember. Anyway, so he decided he wanted to do it in the West, which means, you know, the United States or Canada probably. And so he had archdioceses all over the country submit these, these plans, and uh, he chose. And I think he chose Denver because, A, it was a really good plan that the archdiocese had put together. Uh, B, he wanted kind of a, a secular modern city, you know, rather than a quote-unquote Catholic city. And, um, and three, he loved the mountains. He grew up in Poland. He grew up in the mountains. He was a skier in high school. He played hockey. And I think he really wanted to visit the mountains, and he did. You know, it's so, it's so amazing looking back at these images and all of the people who were walking. I think it was to Cherry Creek State mm -hmm, Park, right. right, for the mass. And, um, and it was not only just Catholics. I mean, it was just so many people. But it was a really hot day, yeah. right? And a lot of people got sick. Yeah, it turned into a way different story. So they had to walk from Civic Center Park 13 miles out to Cherry Creek Ooh. State Park for the mass. It, like you said, was 100 degrees that day or so. Uh, it was altitude. Uh, they didn't have much water. Water had been donated, but it was the carbonated water. Mm -hmm. And apparently when you're dehydrated, that's that not a really good thing. Doesn't for work you. so well, right? right? Yeah. And so, uh, and so they were dropping like flies, these pilgrims, as they call themselves. Uh, they were just getting sick, and it became a big spot news story. And thousands of them, of them uh, just you know, were being brought in on stretchers and, and they set up a triage center. And one of the doctors we interviewed said, this is like a mash unit. This is like during a war, you know, and, and uh, it turned into a huge story. But luckily, you know, a little Gatorade, maybe an IV, that sort of thing, and got them back on their feet and uh, they made it to mass the next day. Well, to quote you quoting our boss, you are one of the few people at the station that still <laughs> remembers that day. Right? Does anything like specifically stick out to you from that day uh, all those years ago? It, there was so much buzz in the city. It was, it was so exciting. It was such an exciting time. <clears throat> and, and it was exciting even if you weren't Catholic. I mean, I'm Jewish, and, and I thought it was, <laughs> yeah. it was amazing. Um, I, what sticks out in my mind is I got to meet Pope John Paul II. The station oh, cool. sent... Uh, anchor Mike Landis and I to uh, to Rome to do a preview uh, special, and and we spent you know maybe five ten minutes with him. But he was such a gentle man. He was such a peaceful man. Spoke English pretty well. Was very excited to come to Colorado. It was really really cool. And then when he got here, I think what I remember most, besides sleeping on the floor in the newsroom <laughs> because we were working twenty four <laughs> hours a day, uh, what I remember the most is just his connection with the people and. Um, yeah, we're going to get into a, a lot of that in the special Saturday night. So it came out really good. Manny Sotelo puts these things together, and he's incredible. Well, the two of you combined. It's true. Yeah. Whenever you guys come together, it really is amazing. So last question real quick. Just tell people what they can expect with this special tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to take a look at, uh, again, why the Pope came to Denver, how it affected the city. It really was the first big event that Denver put on, and we posted many since, you know, the, the Summit of the Eight and the Democratic National Convention convention and, and, and sporting events and, and all kinds of stuff. But this was really the first one. 
and uh, boy, the city and the state stepped up to, to make it happen. So we're going to take a look at that, and then we're just going to talk about this pope who honestly, um, his reputation has been tarnished a little bit mm -hmm. because of the church scandal in the years since 93, and, and we'll get into that a little bit too. Oh, well, Gary, it's always good to see you, always good to chat with you a little bit more. By Thank the way, you. Gary's here on a Friday. Does anybody else want to hear him say his signature oh, line? I know, really quickly? you should. should. should we? so awesome. Well, congratulations, you made it through the week. <laughs> yes. Hey, congratulations to you, my friend. We Thank can't you. wait to see good the see special. You guys. By the way, Pilgrimage to the Peaks Plus 30 runs Saturday night at 6 o'clock on Channel 9 and Sunday night at 9.30 on Channel 20. And as always, you'll be able to stream it on the 9 News website, the 9 News YouTube channel, and the 9 News Plus app. Let's